and we're live. Good morning. Hello. Um, hello. We are back again today with another lovely talk. Um, I was just saying that it feels super nice and relaxed that it's a Saturday and we can just be together. I have my hot drink with me. Um, yeah, so this is another one in the series of talks um, on building your cyclical toolkit. Um, and I've had some really lovely talks this week and I'm super excited about the talk this morning. So I'm here with Elil, um, who's a healer. Uh, she's a Kundalini Yogini um, and Heil Practicerin. I can never say that word properly. Heil Practicerin, which if you're not in Germany, this is a naturopath in, uh, in the UK, um, but working with traditional Chinese medicine. Um, doing some really beautiful work around healing, around energy, working a lot with women. Um, so we have, we met, we met in person only just kind of recently, didn't we? Yeah. yeah I've been yeah, receiving your newsletters and stuff and love your work. It was very, some of the only newsletters that I don't delete and I actually, actually look into. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Um, so it was super nice to meet you in person recently and I, you have just such a, a lovely calm gentle uh, way about you and I really love the work that you're doing you've got such insight and wisdom so I'm really pleased to have you here talking with us today um, and let me ask you now to introduce yourself. Ooh, I think you did a good <laughs> job so yeah it is my funny Hebrew name Sat Prem is also from a spiritual tradition that I that I've been practicing for many years from the Kundalini Yoga I'm a teacher I'm a teacher trainer of it and this is a big part of my work and yeah like you said Chinese medicine so I'm a, I'm a health practitioner I, I, I treat people but one of the most important things for me is to actually teach people to become their own healers and healers of their families, their loved ones, their tribes, their yeah communities, because I think it's really this time and moment that life is so complex that we need to take this responsibility and awareness to, to do this for ourselves and for the people around us. So a lot of my work is, is also teaching, giving workshops um, of, of healing, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so interesting you wrote such a beautiful post the other day and I, re I read it so many times oh um it was uh, a post that you wrote about your perspective of what it feels like to heal in yeah. flow using the, your intelligence that you have and you just broke it down in a really beautiful way that kind of allowed me to be in that healing experience with you yeah yeah it's an experience that I'm very grateful to to be teaching to people and to have myself actually except for being all that which you described i'm also a 40 something year old solo mama <laughs> with toddler at home and a business to run and blah 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 blah, blah. yeah but it's actually those moments where i go in the flow in this healing position where I, where I heal another person or where i teach that this is like my vacation this is the flow this is the depth of meditation so kind of like life is the work and this is the <laughs> Ah, that's a nice way of looking at it. So yeah. why do you, why is it that, um, so just thinking about women and, and the, the work that we're all doing on ourselves to understand ourselves, to connect with our bodies, to understand our cycles, to get into the rhythm of that, um, how does um, understanding or becoming healers ourselves or understanding ourselves as being able to heal ourselves, how does this help us? um like i said is this is this is this point of of awareness in this in the complete com complexity of things and 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 this maturity yeah like this responsibility that that we have to take um yeah i think we talked about it when we when we talked before this talk and i told you how much i love or, or some of the reasons that I, or one of the reasons that I love, I love your work because nutrition is first of all, like the foundation of everything, but this work around the cycle and from the perspective of the, of the yogi, yogini that I am, like being a yogi means being in reality, living with, with what is. And as people generally, but women, I think in general are, are damaged by this. We are kind of very far, we're distanced. Everything pushes us away from the actual reality of our nature, yeah? Mm -hmm. So 
I find that working around the cycle with this point of awareness and also meditation is just a way to, to, to this first uh, maintenance, kind of a way to hold it all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but women, I think, again, like I said, we're, we're, I think more damaged by, we are this kind of Shakti. We are the manifestation, the reality. We have to, we have to hold it in a way we embody this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everything pushes us away from it. So this taking of responsibility and the way from my perspective that you do it is first of all, through this daily kind of discipline of whatever it may be with Kundalini yoga, with meditation, with whatever it is, breath work. But this, first of all, looking in what is going on right now. This is also the first thing that I do in the workshops. We go to meditative state and you have to look, what is the state of my mind? How is my perception? How is my energy moving today? Where is the tension? I don't want to reject it. I'm being with it for a moment. But how are things in the moment? And definitely the cycle for women is a very big part of it. I have no idea if I answered your question. That was like, yeah, Ooh, yeah, you did. yeah, you did. It's super interesting. And I, I, we, I had a talk yesterday with um, Sarah about human design and what she was saying linked in with what everyone else had been saying and then what you're saying now is just another lens into the same kind of approach about really uh, being able to look into yourself and to be with what's happening there um, is sometimes a new skill for us um, if we're not used to doing this. Absolutely. And it's yeah. sometimes a skill that's not so pleasant to learn also. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I hear so often from people I ask do you meditate and either they say yes and then tell me of all kinds of apps like relaxation apps that takes them on journeys in the forest or in their bodies which could be very nice but it's not really meditation from my perspective or they sometimes say no I can't my mind is, is and yeah exactly that's that's the point you go through the discomfort of stilling the body and of observing the mind and not being distracted yeah. not going anywhere which can be a huge discomfort and with yeah. kundalini yoga today i did this this kriya this this practice i thought of okay what do i need today what specifically do i need today before our talk yeah and it's called the kriya for non-reaction and then you have to sit something like 20 minutes in this way mm. which looks kind of innocent yeah but after like three minutes or so the body starts to produce every kind of pain ache yeah. and <laughs> can't stand it but then you hold it and something happens that changes something in the brain or reconnects something mm -hmm. in the brain and you get this level of stillness of non-reaction of first of all okay that's how it is yeah you very useful now this non-reaction and and looking is also a very useful skill with a toddler i have to i can share oh, absolutely <laughs> I think I told you a couple of weeks ago, she just learned to scream. And then yeah. you she, she, in front is of she still in this? Is she still in this phase? <laughs> uh, she's somewhere. She took this tool with her and went on some new ways. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But this first yeah. moment when you encounter this kind of specific tone is this first of all, nothing. It's how it is. It's a yeah but like you said a very new skill to yeah. like everything in this life tempts us to react to it yeah yeah like this yeah. this yeah. Image, i have to this that the, the the mind has become google i don't know it's like we're used to sure. this the brain has changed to this you know i have to know right now i have to do this right now yeah yeah and that that practice that you mentioned of just checking in with yourself in the morning and asking what do I need today or what do I need right now yeah. this is this is key isn't it yeah um, and then being able to not react this non-reactive also state. having some, some answers to what do I need today yeah. and you give some answers that have to do with food for example but there's yeah. what is my there's exercise there's breath what, what is it that I need and that yeah. can fix me for the day in a way yeah. and this is the concept of the toolkit really this is like ask yourself what you need and then have this kind of box of things that you know that you like or you know that work for you yeah. and choose something from from there to help you 
So yeah, it doesn't mean having the same practice every day because we're not the same person every day. Yeah. 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 And all of these things just ripple through, don't they? They ripple through. They help you with your child. They help you with the finance amp. Yeah. They help you with <laughs> all these things. Um, <laughs> ah, that's so interesting. So if I was to come to one of your workshops then, um, what would my experience be? What kinds of things would I be learning if I came to one of your workshops? First of all, it's really about the experience. And I love it when people come out kind of a bit confused. And when I huh. see the morning with a, with a, with a paper and pen, then uh, like, please, if you, can, if you can, then put it aside. So it's really about the experience and then allowing things to come and to consolidate or to come to some conclusion. They will, mm, like the most important thing is really to experience the power of your own silence when you learn to to go in some kind of silent which in silence is really a relative thing it's not like things will stop but finding this perspective let's say or this dimension of silence and just how much power you can have with it over your own energy your own prana we call it in the yoga sciences but also in healing another person in how you affect your environment let's put it this way maybe better as a healer or not doesn't matter but we want to be healers. We want to be a healing factor in the world. But how do you affect your environment with your presence mm -hmm. and how you can affect your presence with your awareness? Mm -hmm. And then you can go very, very practical, which we do in these workshops in actually giving healing sessions, both in person and remotely, just with the power of your own mind and your stillness, your silence. Mm -hmm. Then we very, very much work with energy. Also, how to energize yourself in a way that is Again, very different than what we mostly at this time, we experience this energy that's kind of on the surface. Yeah, my fingers to the phone, my, it's here, the energy. And we want to have this energy at the center, surrounded by silence and how we affect reality, our reality and the reality of others. Again, I answer in such an abstract way. You will yeah. experience in my, in my workshop. So we do healing and we do all these horrible, uncomfortable stuff <laughs> from yoga and we also just and this the magical things happen we really have incredible experiences mm -hmm. and then we discuss them a bit and see how they can fit in our reality and how we can what we can integrate what we can take with us that's generally mm -hmm. and really this deep experience of silence of meditative silence it's often often happens that people say well i never you know had this kind of deep mm -hmm. silence in my that I can remember yeah mm. yeah it sounds amazing I've been watching your workshops for a while now and thinking I need to come to some of them they sound so fabulous <laughs> um I know you have a workshop coming up so we'll make sure that we put the link um into the recording afterwards but is there is there anything specific about the your next workshop that you want anyone to know about it's going to be wonderful this, it yeah. will be online online workshop That's okay so not just Berlin anyone can come Anyone can come, exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a weekend workshop. It's for everybody. Like last time we had, it's, it's, I'm just starting to teach this online. Like for many years, I was part of this tradition where we were absolutely not allowed. It was dangerous to teach it online. And I thought that sounds <laughs> like cults talk to me. And also yeah. you can't talk of a new age and stay in the old one. So I really had to try it out and I did. And it was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say, yeah, so 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 it's online and we work very much on remote on remote healing, how to do that. I was gonna say something and yeah. It will come back. Um, it will come back. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so we share the details in the in the in the what you call it <laughs> afterwards. Um I'm curious to know, like, so if somebody kind of starts to work with you and develop some of these practices, what do you think the the benefit would be in terms of their cycle so perhaps they have problems with their cycle or perhaps they're going through different life stages like like you for example you've had a baby in recent times um, or me who's going through perimenopause um, these tools that you're talking about and these energies that you're working with in the healing practice how might that help us um, with some of these different things that we're experiencing yeah well uh... sorry that's a big question <laughs> 
question. Uh, first, the answer is, as I already said, well, there's, a, again, this empowerment in that you, you, it's not like we're just going through things. We just to, first of all, this observation gives a, a lot of, a lot of power. Yeah. Um, and then there's really very specific tools of how to work with energy and with the body and also, of course, around, around the cycle and very specifically for women. There's like, these are like the details, but these are things that, that you can learn yogic practices and yeah do you use um chinese medicine very much in your work with women around their cycles yes very 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 useful i yeah. i work with acupuncture very useful women come there's a lot of pms there's there's like stuff like that yeah all, all kinds of of cyclical issues yeah. acupuncture is super um, I always anyway encourage them to take a practice, anything that they do for themselves, also physical, like different kind of exercise to relieve tension and so on. But anyway, acupuncture is, is super yeah. helpful. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of women who have used acupuncture for fertility. Yeah. Um, for PMS. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Super yeah. helpful. What's the, what's the main thing that it does for you? I guess it's your I leave you to answer I won't answer <laughs> different things very often the women who come uh, have just like very high levels of tension very often it's tension sometimes it's about building up resources there's these two different things but mm. almost always there's tension like energy we're, we're really creatures that should be moving in all kinds of creative and free-flowing ways especially women and then we so many of us are stuck maybe happily maybe not so happy it doesn't matter but sitting by a computer all day and not reacting to the boss who's annoyed whatever things get stuck yeah mm. and then also with sexuality it's a whole new a, a whole a whole yeah thing so stagnation is a very is a very common thing we often start with that or also building up resources this for that acupuncture is just perfect yeah. yeah you have so many talents it's amazing and I love how you integrate them all into kind of one practice this is really beautiful um if you were to recommend just kind of one thing that somebody could like say somebody watches this video with us today and they want to go away and bring one thing into their practice or into their daily life, like what would be the one thing that you would say can be something simple or that yeah. would really help? Something that has to do with the breath, I would breath. say. Yeah. 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 This is, this is so easy, isn't it? This is what Svenja said the other day. So she's a body work um, practitioner yeah. that we talked to and it was the same for her. It was breath. Breath is, so, main. is a key. Yeah. It's the main key to everything, actually. Yeah. 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 Any any particular approach that you think would be so many is very different for for everybody, but but just take the time. I don't know. The first thing that I started with many years ago is just taking the breath and equalizing it, dividing it in four parts, slowing it down, inhaling, holding, exhaling, holding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't do it if you're pregnant, you don't hold the breath. If you have high blood pressure, then careful with holding the breath in. If you have low blood pressure, then you may lose consciousness if you hold it out. But that's just, you know, for most people, slowing down the breath and equalizing the length of these four parts could be really interesting. If you just mm -hmm. do it for, when it becomes slower than seven seconds in each segment, really interesting things will start happening for you. Wow perception in your life experience in your communication in your energy flow wow. take seven 15 is quite hard seven, to do isn't it seven, seven seconds Ooh. yeah seven's hard for me six i can do but seven, yeah <laughs> i need to practice more <laughs> you can reach i don't i have been doing it for years like almost one minute for each segment that's oh, very wow powerful. that's one very minute beautiful. that's yeah. amazing to me <laughs> But it, it takes work and becomes really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm and trying to increase my sleep. six seconds. You're, 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 you're sitting down, by the way, or laying on your lying on your back, as long as the spine is straight. I think sometimes lying on the back is is a good is a better start. It's easy. And how long do you hold for it? And each time, the same length. The idea same. So it's the same. So it's like square. A square, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one minute holding your breath. Oh, wow. I'm really You can also impressed. do it like this, like hold, uh, inhale, hold, and exhale, and then inhale again without holding Okay. Up. That's okay. another one. They're both yeah. really very profound in what they can uh, do. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking this as a challenge. <laughs> but, okay, let's maybe I phrase it another way for as an okay. advice. Yeah. Take some breath, exercise, and develop yourself in that. Take it for, for a long period of time. Yeah, for example, slowing down the breath, something like this, or any mm -hmm. breath exercise that you ever, ever came across and liked and thought that did something for you, develop yourself in that through mm -hmm. daily work because really interesting, magical shift will happen. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've tended to use it more as a tool for fixing a problem when I have a problem. So if I feel anxious or I uh, need to be... Right present for something I'll use it but not as a regular practice and I yeah ideally you have both like you practice yeah. that's what I recommend my students often to have part of something which is a daily practice over a long mm -hmm. period of time and then you also collect these tools that you use in the moment but then you use them very well because you've practiced yeah, yeah. and by the way talking of speaking of the cycle I do these daily practices for many years sometimes mm -hmm. 40 days at a time or 100 days or 1000 days or so and there is a cycle it's like, okay, there's the moment where I think I'm oh, perfect yogi. I just, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. you know, the hormone shift. And then I do it so badly. <laughs> and it, it goes like this. And, yeah. it's a, and it's exactly like the idea is this consists to have something very consistent throughout the cycle and the shifts and everything. Okay. There's this point, there's the yin and yang. There's these two sides. Mm -hmm. You have the cycle, the shift, and you have some consistency that's a really yeah. good way to yeah stay in what would you recommend then so when you notice these changes and then you realize that you've become not so good with your practice do you kind of push through that and continue or do you take a break from it no I I, I wouldn't say push through but again I try to keep something it's really important to be realistic yeah and yeah. not when I was younger I wasn't realistic I would take like the most the hardest practice I do it <laughs> an hour and a half a day and I was actually pushing through and this too was an interesting experience but I'm not 27 any longer <laughs> so I, I I got more compassion now and I learned to be realistic but yeah I would say one at least one aspect of something that you decide that you can do completely consistency whether you yeah. do it wonderfully like a perfect yogini or really badly this you do every day this consistency itself has a lot of value. Yeah? yeah. And it's this balance between you don't want to push, you know, you to, to bang your head on a wall, although mm. you know the wall might break and you can go through in the end, but <laughs> it's gonna be a bit painful. Yeah. But also not always go to the easy path. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. This balance in between. Okay. It's the same with everything, isn't it? That I think sometimes when we slip up a little bit, uh, we feel that we're not doing such a good job anymore. Same with the way that we eat. We yeah. often just push it aside and then, yeah. and then we have to come back to it. But trying to find some flow within that so it remains consistent, consistently good and bad, <laughs> uh, yeah. but consistent. Yeah. 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 And just and, and, and anyway, compassion to your own. Yeah. You know, this is our nature. The cycle, yeah. the flow is our nature. This is how it's supposed to be. Exactly. Um, so if somebody wanted to find out a bit more about what you do or where you are or they wanted to follow you on social media, where's the, where's the, where are you most active? Where's the best place for people uh, Instagram? to find you? Instagram. Okay. We, we put a link. Yeah. We put a link up for that. And um, also my newsletter. I also okay. my, my website, my newsletter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And um, is there anything else that you want to share before we wrap up for today? Yeah, the photo of your breakfast this morning. I mean, <laughs> you can't do that. We have a meeting, but I can't taste those beautiful pakoras. 
You know, it's so satisfying. I was talking with some lovely women earlier in the week and we were talking about pakoras and uh, one said, just get all the scraps out of your out of your fridge. And I was like, oh, this is something I need to do. And it's such a satisfying feeling to use up all those little pieces yeah. of vegetables, just grated them all and put them with some chickpea flour and a little bit of rice flour, lots of different spices. But seriously, it took about five minutes to do. Um, yeah, but tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so nice talking with you always yes. I, it's always yeah. such a pleasure um so I, and I hope that I can come to one of your workshops soon yes. I'm really yeah for sure so yes uh everybody have a lovely Saturday um I think we have one or two talks next week I can't remember now I've had so many of them but um yeah so I will probably be back next week sometime but for now, have a beautiful Saturday. Enjoy the sunshine. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for inviting me. And I love your work. I love your work. And I love you. your work as well. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure. Um, yeah, so we talk soon. Let me just turn off this.